Hey guys, Russell Must here, and um, looking around for different games, and I discovered that deepest that deepest sleep game I was playing has a sequel. So I figured I'd play the sequel, guys, and um, you guys can enjoy watching me play this, and uh, leave me some comments, and you know you guys can go and force check out this game. Um found this game on uh, gamejolt.com I can leave the uh, link in the description I'll just have to remember if I forget somebody just write it in the comments I'll be sure to get on that alright let's have a new game for the best gaming experience use headphones turn off the lights now the first one if I remember right um, you were like this weird shadow person and you were living in like another dimension or something. Mm. I know a friend who can do that. Like whenever they want and they can astral project. I've always wanted to experience a lucid dream. A dream in which you are awake and a dream in which you can be anyone and do anything. But something went wrong and I ended up having a terrible nightmare. Before I woke up, I encountered monsters that wanted to hurt me. I don't think they were a part of my dream. I felt like they came from outside, from the depths. I've had nightmares like that. The nightmare didn't fade away like I thought it would. I couldn't stop thinking about it. What if it was real? I became obsessed with it. I don't know why. Maybe I just wanted to prove myself wrong. So I went to the local library to see if there was a, if there were any past records of dreams similar to mine. A cold night outside. So they changed the color to a green, which I don't really like because I feel like it's harder to see that there's something to do. Do do do. Quotes, more books. Alright, I think I have to go in here. I've just arrived. Oh, I thought, oh, that's the door to leave. Okay. What is this? A piece of paper. As long as you don't know you are dreaming, you are safe. Um, that doesn't help me keep the reality. Or keep the fantasy. I feel like I'm in uh, Silent Hill or something. What is this? A steel book? That's weird. Do, do, do. Is there anything I can use this book on up there? No. Okay, well, this is different. But I know I can use the book right there. Alright. I don't like these puzzle games where the place changes a piece of paper. Have existed since human race. Candles? Oh, batteries. This painting looks familiar. Alright, let's go over here. It's locked. Okay. Looks like an elevator, no power. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I could use it. So, what the fuck? It's too dark to see anything. There's something there. Let's go downstairs. Is this the way back up? Bert, that is, that's the clown that was dead in the last one. I believe, anyways, he looks like him. It's locked from the other side. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. Flashlight. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that. I should use the handle. Okay. Well, the handle won't work. 
so looks like I'm going upstairs. Which other room has I not gone in yet? No, oh, this room. Did I go in this one? I thought I already grabbed it for some reason. So that thing looking at me was the deer head. What the frick? What is this? A pointer? A piece of paper? Uh, which sometimes happens during comas. Okay. Four two eight two. I'm gonna write that down. If I was actually in this game, I would be worried I don't. I'd have to keep going back and forth. I'd be really annoyed. Okay, so I got no. Why didn't I put something there? The key is at the bottom. Okay, cool, I got the key. And then this I can open, right? Four, two, eight, two, like I wrote down. It's not fully open. Oh, um, okay. So I have to twist it around, I guess. Kind of dumb. It's too dark to see anything. Oh yeah, that definitely helped me. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be going this way. Barrels. Light switch. Alright. Let's go this way. Can I turn that? The handle is stuck. Of course it's stuck. Oh, this room has a whole bunch of stuff in it. A needle, a plush tiger. Hmm. A little car. Umbrella. There's a piece of paper up there. Okay, what's this piece of paper say? A uh, phenomenon, it would seem they blinked the dawn. They have existed since the dawn of the human race. Okay, so now the piece of papers are going together a little bit. Uh, I need one a plush tiger, I don't think they can help me with that. So let's just keep going back, I suppose, now. Until we get into that other room. Alright. Oh, I can use the key on this room. It doesn't fit in here. It's locked. Of course it's locked. the key for them. Is there another one? It's locked from the other side. Well that doesn't help me at all. Can I use it on this door? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I'm outside now. I think. Okay. I'm using that flashlight a bunch. Piece of paper. Okay. Spooks. Thread. Okay. I think there's anything else in that little area. Now I can go this way. What is this pile of stones? There's anything I can do with that. There's nothing that way. I'll keep them on this way, I suppose. Man, this game is freaking dark. I can go this way. Wait, is this a scarecrow again? No, this is something else. A small mound on the ground. Okay. Oh, uh, this is the well. In the other game, it seems to go deep. The flashlight doesn't work. There was a small key in the pot. I can't move the uh, thing at all. I don't think there's anything I can do with this right now. So I'll start heading back. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please uh, subscribe, leave me a comment, tell me what you guys think of this series. And uh, you guys are awesome. Bye.